We are going to start a series of videos where we are going to develop an, an autonomous car using Arduino, MATLAB and control theory. We are going to develop in this series the mathematical model, the construction of the robot, sensors, Arduino code, MATLAB code and many other things. So, let's get started with this project, I know that we are going to learn a lot of things with it. to begin with this project. In this project we are going to think that we have a car and the car is placed in an A point. There is the beginning point of the trajectory of our car. So this car, uh, this car I am going to give uh, what is the desired point, what is the point that I want to uh, the car achieve. So I am going to gave to the system what is the B point. So this car must to calculate, must to compute it, what is the best trajectory that it has to follow to achieve that A point. So the car must to calculate what is the straight trajectory to found to find that B point. That in this trajectory, we could have some problems. A, a problem it could happen when, if you imagine in this trajectory, the car founds an obstacle. If the car thinks that the best trajectory is a straight line to the point, B point, but in this trajectory there are an obstacle, then in this point the car uh, has to think how I going to achieve that reference if I have that thing but the car is moving to that B point then in this point the, uh, the car has to think what is the best trajectory to achieve the B point that is important and that is the biggest problem that we have In this part, we are going to talk about the car. Uh, the model that we are going to use is the differential model. That is a, a very po popular car literature use, and that is very known. This model, we could make that this car achieve any point of the of the plane. Then, if we move the the wheels of the car, the left wheels and the right wheel in the same direction, then the cars move forwards and if we make that the wheels move in the other direction, we make that the car goes backward. And that direction, that direction could change if we make that the velocity of the wheels are different. If we think that the right wheel have a bigger uh, velocity than the left wheel, then the trajectory uh, of the car uh, may describe like a curve, some curvature. Then, if we make the same thing uh, in the other in the other side, uh, we could make that the uh, right, in this case, left wheel makes. Uh, faster than the right wheel, then it describes it describes another type of trajectory, in a curvature in that trajectory. That makes that this differential model uh, a very popular. So, uh, in this problem, we we could uh, we have to make 
that that the cars follow a trajectory, a desired trajectory. Then, in every moment, the car moves to know what is the point X, Y, that is a, what is the position, what is the real position of the car in every uh, sample of time. And what is the desired point, what is the point that I, we want to achieve, that is the best important thing and we want to make uh, that this car follow this desired trajectory but we now uh, we have to to say to that car the car must to move the right wheel in the left wheel to the different velocities to follow this trajectory and that is very important the car must to uh, achieve and uh, must to think what is the best velocities of the wheels to achieve that trajectory and achieving the the point the desired point and it have to doing all those things and it, it have to tracking what is the actual position in every sample of time that is the problem that is the bigger problem of this I have I have to measure what is the point of the of the car in every sample of time I have to know what is the position of the car what is the position the x and y position to uh, to us to the to the car if he achieved the reference uh, he achieved the the point the desired point uh, if he doesn't if he doesn't uh, achieve that reference it have to move the right wheel and it have to move the left wheel it have to change the velocities of that wheels to try to achieve what is the point but it have to uh, uh, question it have to question what is the uh, actual point what is his actual point Point, what is his actual position and what is the uh, desired position if, if there are any difference then it has to move that velocities there is a model there is the plant that we want to control so in this plant we are going to have what is the x and y position so we are going to have right here what is the uh, points that we are going to achieve what is the desired points the x desire and g uh, and y desire and y desire points so if we could we could make these things the difference between the difference between the actual point this actual point and the desired point is the error so this is a feedback this is a feedback control uh, loop so if we could uh, make sure what is the difference between the the actual point and the desired point we have here this error and this error could be computed by a microcontroller and our microcontroller could make a could think if we have error in the x and y uh, coordinates i ha uh, it have to move or change the velocity of the left wheel and change the velocity of the right wheel this is the plant we are going to develop this plan to achieve that point Okay, we are going to let this video right now and uh, in the next video we are going to talk about the, this feedback uh, relimitation, uh, this feedback of the model and how to going to measure the position of the robot in every sample of time uh, that is too important and we are going to discuss about the model, the model of the robot 
is very important because we are going to re, uh, take a relation between variables. Uh, we have to make that uh, how is relate the velocities with the position of the robot and we have to make that discussion and i hope that this video will help help you and we and i hope that you share this video and you like it and i'm sorry but my english is not very good but i try to do my best